Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. So today I'm going to be going over how to set up your task killer. So how you set this up, uh, first of all go to the uh, Google Play Store and download Advanced Task Killer. Uh, so you can just type in Task Killer, it's usually the first one that comes up. But I see a lot of you guys have this uh, and I'm very proud of you guys for that. However, um, almost every phone I've ever seen isn't isn't set up properly. So this is how you set up your advanced task killer. Okay guys? Alright. So how you set it up is you first go to advanced task killer. Once you open this up, you, this you'll typically see, right? And all you guys do is you guys put like an icon on your home screen and then you just go to it and then you kill all these apps. Well, there's a lot easier way, okay? So how you do that first is first go to Advanced Task Killer and then you go to the menu button. Now my menu button's down here, most of you guys have a menu button, uh, but basically go to the menu button. When you go to the menu button, go to Settings. And now, this is how you guys do it. Okay, I do not have it auto start. You can have it auto start and just kill everything from the beginning, but uh, there's no need once you figure out how to do this. Uh, you can show a notification panel, that's always cool. Um, on the ignore list, I would never put anything on there unless you really have something you like to ignore. Now here is it guys, auto kill. This automatically kills things, so you don't have to keep doing this whole setup. So first you go to auto kill and uh, I usually go safe. You can go aggressive if you want. I usually never recommend crazy. But aggressive will just close things. Uh, basically everything but what you're using at the time. So if you're using your camera, it still won't cancel all your camera. But it'll cancel everything but your camera, for example. Now the second thing is auto kill frequency. I have mine set to every half an hour. What that means is every half an hour the apps, are, the apps kill stuff. Uh, so basically all the apps are done every half hour and that's the best way I would recommend doing it. You can also do it every time your screen uh, shuts off. The only problem is sometimes like I'm you know browsing the web and I'm just cl shutting off the screen if I wanted to talk to someone real quick. So that's why I see the problem with that one. That's why I do not do the one screen off. You can do it but I usually recommend the every half hour thing. And once you have this set up then every half an hour once in a while when you're looking at your phone you'll see like all these apps are killed. Now there's one other thing though. So the other thing I recommend doing is simply this. What I recommend doing is putting the widget. So see this right here? This is not the app itself. It is the widget for it. So if I go into my widgets, it's probably one of the first ones. Yep, right there. Now why the reason why I suggest this is because the widget, actually, as soon as you tap it, it just kills everything and clears your memory. So it basically improves upon what you planned on doing in the first place but this is a lot easier just to tap it and then it kills the apps right away. So this is how to set up your advanced task killer. Uh, if you guys have any other questions or any well what about this task killer, what about this task killer, I've tried them pretty much all. Uh, this is still the tried and true one um, and it's still pretty much the most recommended one I would say. You can try other ones, but this is how you set up the advanced task killer, which I still feel is the best one overall. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Once again, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.